The mother of a 17-year-old girl adopted last year from Ukraine is suing Spectrum Health. She says the hospital system is preventing the girl from getting a necessary kidney transplant. And she says it all comes down to their family's religious beliefs, which prevent them from getting any vaccines. Mark 17's Michael Martin joins us now live to explain. Michael. Max, Janice, this 17-year-old girl who is now living in, with her new family in Allegan County had already been through so much before arriving here in the States, having one of her kidneys removed as a child. And now with these new medical developments, a lot going on there. But her mom says if they can't work through this right now and get her on the pediatric donation list, it could be years before she gets a new kidney. She started her twice weekly dialysis treatments um, by this past August. Jenna Campo and her family adopted this 17 year old from Ukraine in June of 2021 after first meeting the girl years earlier on a trip to her home country. So that was clear back in 2012, but the door didn't open for us to adopt her until uh, seven years later. They had adopted a son who is now 19 from the same Ukrainian orphanage when the boy was just six and a half. She's very caring and um, has has all kinds of hopes and goals. And Fast forward to last year and Jenna finds out that her new daughter has in stage renal disease. We started a conversation very early with the specialists about uh, pursuing getting her on a kidney transplant list. But she says they quickly ran into some serious roadblocks. There's an examination that has to be done, a medical evaluation they call it, before you can even be placed on the list and they had denied her simply because she has refused certain vaccines based on her sincerely held religious beliefs. There were numerous back and forths between the family and staff at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital in Grand Rapids. And I thought that those opportunities were being offered because there was a real possibility of being able to reason through this, and that's not what ended up happening. And so Jenna, with the help of a nonprofit currently located in Connecticut called We the Patriots USA, filed a lawsuit against the healthcare system. We feel very strongly that that is a violation of uh, not only civil rights, but human rights being denied basic medical care, life-saving medical care. In this case, Jenna says the hospital was requiring her daughter to receive about six different vaccinations, COVID, HPV, and flu shots included before they could proceed with her getting on the pediatric transplant list. I've had some adverse reactions myself. Um, in my own health journey, we just felt that that completely went against our religious conscience. Fox 17 reached out to Spectrum for their take. A spokesperson said in part, due to patient privacy concerns, we are unable to discuss specific patient situations. It's about uh, uh, Jenna's daughter, but it's about so many more people that really, really need um, organ transplants and other critical care that are being denied, again, simply because they have a religious objection. No response, no. Yeah, so Jenna says that if they can't get on this list, as we mentioned, the pediatric list as opposed to the adult transplant list, then it's gonna be years, possibly three, four years, because that pediatric list puts them at high priority. So she's doing everything she can, including this lawsuit, to make sure that her daughter can stay alive and thrive. For now, live in the control room, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.